Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Mommy Teo Teaches Math. Our topic for today is determining the coordinates of the center, foci, vertices of an ellipse. We will be finding also the length of the lattice rectum and the length of the eccentricity. And of course, we will be sketching its graph. Let's take example one. Find the coordinates of the center, vertices, and foci of the ellipse whose equation is 4x squared plus 9y squared minus 24x minus 18y plus 9 is equal to 0. Determine the eccentricity and the length of the lattice rectum. Sketch the graph. So we will be finding the center. Vertex 1, vertex 2, opus 1, focus 2, E, and then the lattice rectum. We have the equation, the general equation is 4x squared plus 9y squared minus 24x minus 18y plus 9 is equal to 0. First step, we need to group terms with x. Okay, and then group terms with y. And then isolate the constant by transposing it to the other side that becomes negative 9. And then get the greatest common factor of the numerical coefficient only, that is 4. x squared minus 6x. This one is 9. y squared minus 2y plus negative 9. And then we will be uh, making this a PST. This is x squared minus 6x. Half of this is 3, square root 9. Half of this is 1, square root, and then 1 equals negative 9. What did we add here? We add here 9 times 4 is 36. So I will be erasing this first. We add here 36, and we add here 9. Remember to add always what you add on one side so that the equation will not change its value. This is now a PST. Remember that our aim in doing this is to transform this into the standard form so that we can identify the HK, the A, and the B. And of course, we will be determining the major axis. So we have 4x minus 3, square root, square root. And then copy. 9. Square root. Square root. And then copy. Square. This one is 36. Remember that this is equal to 1. So therefore, you need to divide everything by 36. All terms must be divided by 36. So this is now x minus 3 over 9 plus y minus 1 over 4 is equal to 1. So whatever the number here, you have to divide the whole equation by this number. So if it's 36, divide everything by 36. If it is 9, divide everything by 9. And then after that, we can already identify our c. Our c is, of course, 3, 1. Our a, a squared is equal to 9, so therefore our a is the square root of 9, which is 3. Our b squared is equal to 4, therefore the square root of 4 is 2. So our b is equal to 2. So the length of the major axis, semi-major axis is 3. And the length of the semi-minor axis is... Okay, so remember that our center is 3, 1. Our A is equivalent to 3 and our B is equal to 2. We have this formula for the length of the eccentricity and for the length of the lattice rectum. We cannot solve yet the length of the eccentricity since we do not have C yet. But we have already the length of, of course, the lattice rectum. We can solve it. This is 2... 2 squared over 3. So this one is 2 times 4 over 3. This one is 8 over 3. Or that is 2 and 2 thirds. 
or that is 2.67. So the length of the lattice rectum is 2.67. So LR is 2.67. Next. How are we going to solve for the C so that we can find the eccentricity? We have this formula for C. C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared. So, we have C squared is equal to A, which is 3. And this one is 2. And C squared is equal to 9 minus 4. That is C squared is equal to 5. And C is equivalent to square root of 5. Square root of 5 is 2.23. So, this one is square root of 5 over A. So, therefore, our eccentricity is equivalent to square root of 5 over our A is 3. Okay. Our center is at 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, and then 1. Then our A is 3, so we have 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. This one is vertex 1, and this one is vertex 2. This one is your center. We can already identify the coordinates of vertex 1. Vertex 1 is 0, 1. And vertex 2 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. That is 6, 1. What about the focus? Remember that this one is A, and the distance from... This center to the vertex is, of course, the A. The distance from the vertex to the focus is C. So, 2.23. This one is 2.23. Assuming that this one is 2.23, or square root of 5, this one is F sub 1 and F sub 2. So, what will be the coordinates of uh, this? The coordinates of this will be, of course... This is, how do I represent it? That is 3 minus square root of 5, 1. And focus number 2, that is 3 plus square root of 5, 1. Okay. So if I will be sketching the graph, this one is B equals 2. That is... 1, 2, that is the length of the semi-minor axis. This is 2. And the length of the lattice rectum is 2.67. Assuming that this one is 2.67, that is 1, 1, and then 3, 3, okay? Assuming that this one is your lattice rectum. This is your lattice rectum 2. This is 2.67. Okay. And then, let's Let's draw it. Okay. Okay. Again, this one is not a perfect ellipse. But this is, of course, the ellipse. The eccentricity is square root of 5 over 3. And this one is approximately, of course, less than 1. Meaning, if we have a point here, this is your Okay. Example number three. Find the coordinates of the center, vertices, and foci of the ellipse whose equation is 9x squared plus 5y squared minus 54x plus 36 equals 0. Determine the eccentricity and the length of the lattice rectum. Sketch the graph. So this is 9x squared plus 5y squared minus 54x plus 36 equals 0. Group terms with x, minus 54x, plus 5y squared equals negative 36. Transpose 36 to the other side. This one is the first group and this one is the second. You get the common factor of the numerical, the greatest common factor of the numerical coefficients, which is 9. This is 6x plus 5y squared is equal to negative 36. Next. Let's make this a PST, x squared minus 6x plus, get half of this, that is 3 square root and 9. Plus 5, this one is y minus 0 squared is equal to negative 36. Next, 
we have added here 81 9 times 9 is 81 so we need to add here also 81 this is factorable now as a PST and its factor will be square of binomial square root x square root 3 negative copy plus 5 y minus 0 squared is equal to 81 minus 36 this one is 5 this is 7 and this one is 4 this one is 45 okay so we will be dividing everything by of course this number 45 45 45 and this is now x minus 3 over this is 5 squared this is 5 y squared over 9 equals of course 1 as you can see this one is greater than this so therefore we will be having this formula then our formula will be 5 y minus 0 squared over 9 plus x minus 3 squared over 5 is equal to 1 meaning to say our our ellipse has a major axis at the y-axis so we can now identify our center our center is at hk which is 3 and then 0 and then our a is a squared is 9 so our a is square root of 9 which is 3 so our a is equal to 3 and our b is 5 b is equal to square root of 5 b squared is equal to 5 this one and b is equal to square root of 5 so b is equal to square root of 5 again this one is equivalent to 2 points so our center is at 3 0 our a is 3 and our b is square root of 5 if we'll find c this will be equal to c squared equals a squared minus b squared so this is c squared is equal to 3 squared minus square root of 5 squared c squared is equal to 9 minus 5 c squared is equal to 4 and c is equal to of course 2 so our c is 2 we can now solve for the eccentricity and the lattice rectum so the lattice rectum is equivalent to 2b squared over a so this is equivalent to 2 square root of 5 b squared over 3 so this is 2 times 5 over 3 this is 10 over 3 so approximately this one is 3.5 3 so this one is 10 over 3 for our E, that is C over A, this is equivalent to 2 over 3. So approximately, this is equivalent to 0.67. Sketching the graph of number 3, we have 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. This one is the center. Our A is 3, so 1, 2, 3. This is 1, 2, 3. Our B is square root of 5, that is approximately 2.3. This one is 2.3 and this one is 2.3. This one is our center. This one is V sub 1 and this is V sub 2. So we can now identify the coordinates. We have 1, 2, 3, 3. So we have 3, 3. And then this one is 3, negative 3. What about our focus? So the distance from the center to the focus is 2, 1, 2. So this is F sub 1 and this one is F sub 2. Okay, so we have focus 1 is 1, 2, that is 2, 2. 
And the other one, three two rather. One, two, three, two. And the other one is three, negative two. Okay. So the length of the lattice rectum is 3.33. So meaning one, one, point three is approximately point divided by two. That will be 1.5. So this is 0 0.67, 0 0.67. Okay, this one is the lattice rectum, approximately. This is the lattice rectum. Okay. Let's see. And it's here, and it's here, and it's here. And here is our ellipse. Okay. And this one. So, this one is our ellipse. Again, it's not a perfect ellipse, but of course, you can do a perfect one. Remember that the directrix is equal to this. If you are asked to find the directrix here, directrix here, this will just be equal to y is equal to. Remember that this is the length of the focal distance is equivalent to this. So, this is 1 and this is also 1. So, this one is y is equal to and y is equal to negative 4. So this is directrix 1 and this is directrix 2.